Hello, lovely viewers. You're watching Bipolar Opposites. I'm your guy, Tim Kevin. Today, I be talking to you about imaginary friends. Okay, show of hands here. Well, I can't see you, but who has ever had imaginary friends? Now, let's think about it. This stopped being research show a while ago, so I'm not researching what causes imaginary friends per se, but I will show what I think of as imaginary friend. Well, basically, it's... For me, when I had my imaginary friends, it was a defense mechanism. See, I've had issues with communicating with people, and, you know, I just... As a kid, I couldn't. People wouldn't want to listen to me, they wouldn't want to hang out with me, they wouldn't want to be near me. So... To calm myself, I made up an imaginary friend. Now this actually did help development pretty well. So that's to be said for imaginary friends. They do help social development. Now is it healthy? Well, depends on how you treat this imaginary friend. Me, I was the kind of person, you know, some people with imaginary friends, they said to sit at the table and say, feed my imaginary friend this, feed my imaginary friend that. Well. Never invited my imaginary friend to dinner, never invited my imaginary friend to school, nothing. Just was a sounding board. You know, just to feel that someone cared about me. I mean, yeah, my mom cared about me, my dad, I don't know, but, you know, I didn't really have anyone my quote-unquote age, I guess you could say. <clears throat> imaginary friends are close in age to you, I don't know. I mean, I know some people, like... Two year olds like have an imaginary friend who's like three hundred years old. I mean, happens. We we set that up. Now, is this a bad thing? Like I said, it helped give me someone to talk to, someone to have social interaction with. Now, say, oh, imaginary friends are so stupid, but you know what? Can be developmentally healthy if you're not associating well. Now, of course. The line gets drawn on the fact that if you rely only on your imaginary friend is the problem. If you take this imaginary friend and try to make real life friends, well, that that's healthy. But just only want to hang out with your imaginary friend, don't want to hang out with anyone else, well, that, not healthy. So, you know, imaginary friends, some people say, oh, it's bad for you. But, well, hope I give you some food for thought. Till next time, I'm coming, out.